Hello friends, welcome to I made me think end to end website testing using Selenium, Cucumber and Java. So we have taken an example of typical e-commerce portal or e-commerce website and what are the things we can do to validate end to end testing. So we saw what are the different features to be considered how to validate e-commerce website and most common features some examples and we have gone through end to end scenarios different types. So let me walk you through the feature file code or the feature file layer where I have designed the scenarios. So th these are the two portals we have considered e for e-commerce website testing. So this is a, this is a Cucumber Gherkin code. For those who want to understand in detail about Cucumber and Gherkin, I would request you to watch some YouTube videos or Google some tutorials for Cucumber or Gherkin language. So let's get started. So there are some keywords in, in Gherkin or Cucumber language and using which we can do our, our action or our, or our operation. So feature is one keyword which says that what is this feature file all about. This statement will not be executed by the compiler. Background. So in context of JUnit or testNG, there is something called before class, before method or before test suit. So this is similar to that. Whatever steps are mentioned with background will be executed for each scenario in entire feature file. Scenario or scenario outline. So a typical scenario would be to execute one test case and scenario outline consists of multiple test case. Here also feature, background, scenario, scenario outline. So as, as discussed in earlier videos, one test case or one scenario outline is consists of many small test cases. So what is this at the rate e-commerce or what is this at the rate staples? So at the rate something is called as hook or or a tag meaning that if this tag wherever so this tag can be uh, is applicable for entire uh, feature file or this tag can be applied to a particular scenario for example this so this particular tag is tagged to enter feature file or this particular tag is tagged to this particular scenario. So if I if let's consider as a feature file consisting thousands of scenarios or thousands of scenario outline and then if I want to run specific scenarios so I can put them with a tag and while running the program I can simply say that run this feature file and run only these scenarios having this particular tag. So only those scenarios will will get executed. Now here, this staples. If I put this tag, that means entire feature in the entire scenarios in this feature file will should get executed. So let's start with end-to-end -end scenario type one. Type one is basically user does some search for this particular item, and in the search result, select first search result or select first search result and select item and add to cart and remove the same or select search result with non out of stock item and enter user details and continue to the payment section. So this is type one here also user searches for this item and does some operation. <coughs> so this is the type one type two would be or type three here is whatever search result we got without any filter just sort the search result by some category and navigate until payment section <coughs> type 2 here is type 2 is to we got some search result valid search result and so type 2 is whatever search result we got <coughs> filter search result by some category and do some operation until the until the payment section Type 3 here is without any filter sort the search result. So second type is filtering, third type is sorting and sorting with some category and navigate until the payment section. Type 4 is select 
first search result and select any any seat or any category or product and try to purchase item till the timeout period of the website here also similarly type 4 is yours sign in and select any search result and book any item or purchase any item with any combination until the payment section so similarly we can go ahead and have multiple types but this is these are the couple of types of scenarios which i have thought of and that's why i thought i have designed next is the menu navigation so no couple of some some websites they have instead of just search we can do a navigation from menu 1 menu 2 menu 3 for example here is product and then this product and then this sub product similarly menu navigation here is flowers and then bunches and lovely red roses so category 1 then category 2 then category 3 so all this navigation related combination should be tested as a part of end to end testing next is generic item search for sir, from search text box scenario validation nowadays lot of websites when we do a search for items they offer something called auto suggest they offer something called auto correct so that should also be tested for example auto suggest here so user searches for popular item with search relative matching name from particular this thing uh, examples using auto suggest so same thing can be done using search history same thing can be done using auto correct and similar and many more so generic items can be generic item search scenario is like this here also it is also the same so auto suggest auto suggest or search history coming to next generic item search result scenario validation so user searches for this particular item and let's say if it got empty result or uh, whatever results from there we need to verify the short product details and if we if the user clicks on some particular product then full product details of using individual navigation or similar products <coughs> recommended products so these all things basically search result information validation is done here here also similar things are done shopping cart related scenarios shopping cart related scenario so this is also an important part where user can add some product then add more products and then remove some product or remove all products or different combinations of that so shopping cart scenario validation is also considered we can go ahead and we can have so many combinations but i have considered only couple of combinations so for example add this 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 item in uh, this is the quantity and remove this or remove a particular item with some quantity and next action is remove all so different combinations add remove and navigate to purchase cancel everything can should also be tested for a typical e-commerce website so apart so as we discussed here there are other scenarios uh, or other features to be considered but since e-commerce is a bit popular to nowadays so i have considered only end to end scenarios and some special scenarios but we can go ahead and we can have many possible scenarios many combinations to be designed in the feature file right now i think around 50 scenarios for each category are designed which are expandable so one more point is these scenarios whatever i have designed the scenario outline or the features these features more or less remains the same for different types of websites by that what i mean is if tomorrow if we want to scale up our automation for some other website then these are the generic scenarios these are the generic pattern of scenarios which are immediately available to us and then we can just you know for example tomorrow some other website flipkart.com so we can have similar scenarios which are already here uh, just start using it and just for website specific, specific item you can just remove this item name and you can put your item name and we can easily expand it similarly we need to implement the same in the code but the pattern remains the same so this is all about a typical e-commerce portal testing end to end testing validation thanks for watching